guidelines for safely maintaining and cleaning the Delastol Compressor Automatic Installer Installation Machine. Keeping the machine clean is imperative to the proper installation of elastic preformed pavement compression seals. So maintenance should be performed every day after usage. Plenty of shop rags should be available to clean the machine. Make sure to use approved safety equipment when cleaning the Delastol compressor. Begin maintenance by starting the machine's engine. Engage the compression blades. With the machine idling, remove the suction and return lines from the glue bucket. Place the suction line in a bucket filled with toluene or strong denatured alcohol. Do not use gasoline or diesel fuel. Using gasoline or diesel fuel dries out the seals in the compressor. Place the return line in a waste bucket. Open the glue return line and run solvent through the system, including the head, for approximately three minutes. The glue will continue to run through the pump. Apply solvent to a shop rag and wipe down the head. Be cautious of the compression blades, which will still be moving. If glue still remains on the head, continue to run solvent through it. It is very important that the ports are clean and the grooves have no glue in them. Dip a rag in the solvent and wipe down the compression blades. Remove all glue from the compression blade exterior using a putty knife or other sharp edge tool. After stopping the compressor's engine, Open up the machine. Take the reel saddle off. Remove the chains from both sides. Remove the side panels and other exterior panels. Drop the quick link chain, which is in the third link of the chain, through the machine with the opening toward the front of the machine and remove the last side panel. To continue opening up the machine, remove the springs. Flip up the belt tensioner arm and remove the chain. Loosen the top nut with a 1 and 1 16th inch wrench. Using a 9 16th inch wrench, remove the bolt holding the front frame to the back frame. Using a bar tool device, pry open the side of the machine. Clean all the glue off the inner surface of the compression blade. After the compression blades have been cleaned, apply heavy duty 90 weight grease to the inner surface, inner ledge and inside outer face. Make sure not to get grease on the front face or the inner lip. The discharge blade must be cleaned each day after use. Not doing so will freeze the blade and result in high seal stretch rates. If the buildup of grease is too great, remove the discharge blade and soak it in solvent overnight. After cleaning the center discharge blade, apply grease to the blade and to the compression seal guide. Close up the side and repeat the cleaning and greasing process on the other side. The process of closing the machine begins with bringing the side in and securing it with the top bolt. Use a 1 and 1 16th inch wrench to tighten, making sure the inside pins are lined up. Do not over tighten. Insert the frame bolt and tighten with a 9 16th inch wrench. Replace the chain on the gearbox, leaving slack on top. Bring the tensioner arm down on the chain. Reattach the spring, making sure to insert the end into the back of the tensioner arm, as shown here. After both sides are cleaned and the side panels are put on, attach the quick link chain. Day-to-day -day maintenance of the Delastol compressor is very important and should be followed to ensure proper compression seal installation and prolong the life of the machine. 
please contact a DS Brown technician with any further questions you may have regarding the maintenance of this machine.